It's a real pleasure to be here today uh, in the home of Donna Africa, uh, a, a woman, an extraordinary woman that's uh, uh, fulfilling her dream and travelled uh, halfway around the world uh, to achieve this. Uh, Donna, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm very blessed. Thank you very much, Andy. That was a wonderful intro. It's not really all about me, but I'll just be, the reason I call myself Donna Africa is because I re- relocated from my homeland, Zimbabwe, in South Africa, to come to the UK. Uh, to start a new beginning, to look after my late mum, and to realise my frustrated dreams of becoming a, a, a model at my age and, an, and also an aspiring actress and a poet. Uh, I must say you look very beautiful at your age, the way you put it, uh, but the thing is uh, you, you're actually fulfilling your dream, aren't you? But I must sort of like, well, interject there and say that if it hadn't been for my family, my friends and my fans, it would not be at all possible. I've been very blessed and, and UK has been very good to me. I've, I've had a, a, a very upsetting past. I've, uh, I'm a survivor from a, um, a, a civilian ambush where I was attacked as a young girl. And so obviously um, I also, though it's given me a realisation in life that life is so short, I feel blessed that I am here alive. Well, you know, And I don't think I'm wonderful and great. I just feel that I'm doing the most with my life and I'm also here to inspire younger people and people, you know, to, to get out there, create your dreams, do it. It's not too late. Look at me. I'm over 40 and I'm doing it, man. I'm having a well of a time. As I said, it's not too late. And, 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 and a message, Andy, that I really want to get out there is that don't give up on your dreams. Come on. I must say, uh, Donna, you're a prime example of this. Uh, a shining example, and uh, you, you have achieved a lot uh, j- during this period, and, and uh, 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 it will be give inspiration to uh, other people in your position. Uh, Donna, uh, I believe that you've had uh, quite a few interviews on radio. Yes, Andy, that's that's quite right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of a bit of a character, I suppose, here in Norwich, away from my homelands in Africa, so... Yes, I suppose I've caused a little bit of interest. Um, yes, um, I was invited on to to be a guest on the Trisha Goddard show. You know, she's a quite a celeb. She's sort of TV host, uh, show host. She's quite formidable in that field, isn't she? Yes, she is, and, and I admire her because when I came to Norwich over five, six years ago now, um, she did was have was still doing her show in, in Magnum Street, which is not far from where I live. But unfortunately, I, I came in, and it all, it, unfortunately, it all disappeared. But anyway, it was great. I got an invitation to join her on, on her show on the BBC Ray in Norfolk, and we discussed and debated the Lads Mags, and I had such fun meeting her. It was a huge highlight of my entire life in England. I was just, You sound like a fan. I'm absolutely a huge fan of Tricia. I like her. She's ballsy. She's gutsy, and she says how it how it is. So yes, I am a big fan of her. Donna, I do believe you've had some television as well. <laughs> yes, <laughs> to keep it quite briefly. Yes, um, I was on the Rich and Judy show because I'm huge fans of Rich and Judy. I love them, and I got featured there on their Valentine special. Um, at the Cactus Studios, and then also on the very popular BBC The One Show. Uh, they did a, um, a series on stargazing with BBC One's astronomer Mark Thompson, and I went along with them to the Seething Observatory and was a featured stargazer, and that was televised. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Love to do more. How does it make you feel being out here under the stars? Pretty small. Yeah. And the realisation that this is infinite. Uh, uh, we're only just seeing a tiny portion of it. Donna, I do believe that uh, uh, one of your videos was actually screened at the BBC. Is that true? Yes, it was, Andy. <laughs> I can <laughs> believe it. Basically, I did a show and tell video for the BBC Voices. They came to my home and uh, we did a short little video about the films I'd been in and, and about my mature modelling. And um, it was screened on their huge digital screen at Fusion at the Forum in Norwich. That's absolutely marvellous. Uh, in this extraordinary uh, career that you've had thus far, uh, it's not only modelling that you've done, is it, Donna? 
Uh, you've also uh, appeared in some uh, movies as well. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I've been, I've been very lucky and very fortunate. And I must stress, you know, in under three, three years, I've managed to achieve a little bit, not exactly an, an A-less celeb. <laughs> Gosh, I wish. Uh, but I'm still working at it, Andy, but thank you very much. Yes, I, I've, I've been given some great opportunities here by Hazel Cripps. She was wonderful. She cast me in a movie called Madison in Wonderland, which starring Danny Dyer. And I was. I've uh, seen that. That's a fantastic movie. I quite. I think. Yeah. Thank you so much. I, yeah. um, I'm sure future film pr- productions will appreciate that. Um, I, I, I just was basically a dancer and a background artist, but that's where I started. And then Hazel Cripps um, got me a cameo appearance in the, the award winning acclaimed film, The Scouting Book for Boys, which was actually filmed on location and around Norfolk. Mm-hmm. And um, so I was given a cameo appearance. I mean, I thought I'd been blessed because I'm a huge fan of Tommy Tagoose and he starred in it. So Have you met these people? Well, I worked with them, Andy. Of course, uh, yeah. So my scene was with Thomas Tagoose and Susan Lynch. I was absolutely trambling when I was doing that scene with them. I know I didn't get a line, but I got to be in the scene peering my head around with Tony Maudsley. And it was a moment for me, and I tell you what, Andy, I was petrified. But I did what the director told me to do. I did exactly how, and I tell you what, it was so exciting to be with real actors, and 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 it was a huge highlight. What an experience for you! It certainly was. And uh, now I actually got one line in this one. Uh, it was called The Black Widow, Andy, um, which was produced by my good friend Russell Cherrington in Cambria. And um, I got to uh, be featured with a very renowned, famous York actor, James Middlemarch, in a a short black and white, retro-atmospheric film. Um, And James played the detective and I was the femme fatale. Uh, I do believe you're a bit of a poet as well. Yes, Andy, a rather frustrated one. (laughs) (laughs) Aren't they all? (laughs) Yeah, I do do share my poetry on Facebook and on my website. And uh, actually, I was very lucky. uh, There was, on BBC Radio Norfolk, they asked you to send in your poetry. So I sent in my poem called In Need of a New Heart, which I... was a gut-wrenching poem. And what I experienced and what, you know, after losing my whole family, I... Anyway, David cut a long story short... The fantastic BBC producer David Webster, he read my poem live out on air and... How did that feel? Well, um, I'd rather have read it myself. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's not listening to this. No, I think David, no, David Webster, he's I've got... I've met David, he's, yeah, a, he's a nice man actually. He's got a wicked sense of humour, yeah. fantastic. I listened to him and his banter with Stephen and I tell you what, that brings a smile to my face. As you know, you... You are the first person to give me my first break with my first modelling debut shoot, which um, for the very infamous body stocking, which got me started. But it's got everywhere. <laughs> that <laughs> picture. I remember that pretty well. You yeah, well, you took the picture. You were a little bit nervous to begin with, you know, because it was your. Let's be honest here, your your debut shoot, but I, I think you flourished. Yeah, that, can you believe that? Any that was three years ago. Oh my goodness! I know. Gosh. Yeah. Without creative people, where would you be now? Like, where, Absolutely. you know, I mean, we are living our dream and creating loads of things and inspiring people to create their dreams and and giving. It's a lot of giving. And, a lot and of giving. It's a lot of In giving. In this industry, uh, you really do have to work with each other. Exactly, Andy. Yeah. Um, I was taught, I was in advertising for many, many years, and I was taught about the real team spirit. My team. T and for wait. together, E for everybody. A achieves an M for more. So as a team, I'm a team player, most of all. It's just another message for you people out there that we are, we are, we are a team. Together, everyone achieves more. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 I do believe without being a team player, you can't win a game. Uh, in the vast uh, spectrum uh, that you've covered over the years, can you fill us in briefly, Donna, about some of the highlights of, of your modelling work? Yes, I like the word briefly. And <laughs> 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 yeah, myself always like yeah. to have a laugh. Yeah. Yeah, because we don't take ourselves too seriously. Please, people. Um, yes. Uh, okay, briefly, 
I've been fortunate enough to have done a model assignment for Aspinalls of London, which is situated in Mayfair. And I know where Mayfair is because I played it in the Monopoly board. And <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what it was before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God for the uh, Monopoly board. Yes, it's actually it's taught me a bit about London. Very so, educational. So there was, that was an eye-opener for me because I'd only seen it on the Monopoly board and to do a photo shoot there, well, i tell you what was in my element. Anyway, moving on. So uh, my model assignments include the Espinals of London, Norwich and Peterborough Building Society and a Chapperfield Shopping Centre Fashion for All, which I was featured in a post and website. I do believe, Donna, you were also on the prestigious Stephen Bumphrey show on BBC Radio Norfolk. Good. I feel very, very, very honoured and privileged because um, I'd been listening to Stephen on his show in the mornings and um, I thought, wow, this guy, I like his personality, I like what he's saying. And I, and I emailed him about what I've been doing and and what I'd achieved. And he got hold of me and said, come on to the show. And I said, wow. So, yeah, yes, yeah. so I met him. And what a beautiful guy. Gave me a big hug because Stephen Bumphrey is known for his big hugs. And his personality is so warm. And just a beautiful man. Anyway, we got chatting. And he got, I mean, he didn't get all his questions answered because I am a formidable character. But he, we talked about basically why I had come from from my my homeland, Africa, to England, and the choices I made, and uh, my modelling and acting career. And, and anyway, we just had fun on his on his radio show. And uh, as I told him, he's a huge fan of mine, and I listen to his program every afternoon now. And Stephen knows it because I still write to him. So yeah, he knows it. I must say, Donna, that you've acquired uh, your own unique. Uh, style uh, over the years that you've been doing this how would you categorize yourself as a model and as an actress oh thank you andy um i don't know if i've fallen in any category i don't think i can I unique think, yes unique. i would say yes i am a i think we're all u- unique individuals um if i was to put myself in a, in a category i would say that i'm more uh, for the real and natural beauty, although I have nothing against um, any other forms of beauty, it's just what I feel more comfortable with. I, I recently um, did some naturism pictures to discover myself, and I'm an open, direct, and honest person, Andy. As you know, you've worked with me for the last five years, and you know that that I'm a very open person, and and uh, a lot of my fans and friends can see that I'm an open, honest person. I really don't want to disguise myself. You've certainly been honest over the years and direct, but that, that sometimes is, is, is a quality. It's a quality that many people in this pretentious world don't possess, unfortunately. OK, lastly, well, actually, it's more priority. And uh, um, this is... Well, the reason everything that I've done so far... In, in the three years, it's really because of you guys, and I sincerely, my special heartfelt thanks to my family, my friends, to my fans, especially to Andres Yassimi, to Melita, to Lorraine. You know who you guys are. I seriously would be absolutely nothing without you, and it's because of you guys, of your encouragement, your support. You've put me here. Pressure's on big time now. Thank you. No, seriously. As I say, I do. I am a humble person. Without you guys, I would never, ever have been able to create and realize my dreams. And I thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. And and I hope you're going to follow me and and carry on supporting me and believing in me. And thank you for believing me. And you know, I love you. So you know that already. And so I'm going to say I love you. It's, It's your Don Africa here. And all my work. All my poetry, my my portfolio, my everything, you can view on my free website, www.donnaafrica.co.uk. And don't forget, I love you. Mwah.